today I'm gonna talk about the 10 summer basics that you need in your wardrobe right now. Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist for those of you who, <laughs> I've said that way too many times. Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Kim, I'm a fashion stylist, and for those of you who do, welcome back. Today, we are talking about the 10 summer basics that you must have. Before I get into this video, remember, if you like these videos, to hit the red subscribe button, and that will send a link right to your email every time I post so you won't miss out on hanging out with me. Okay, the summer basics that you need right now. So here's the thing about having the basics in your wardrobe. I know I hammer this to death on all my videos, but I'm not kidding. I've been in thousands of closets, Victoria's Secret models to my neighbor next door. Everybody's missing the same things, I promise you. So here's the thing about having good quality, versatile basics is that you have them for a very long time. And you really wanna invest in these pieces because you wanna think about it as like cost per wear, for example. So I have a bracelet that I love, I wear it every day, I never take it off. I've probably worn it a couple months by now and my cost per wear just keeps getting lower each day. Same thing with a really good high quality white ribbed tank. It goes under blazers, it gets worn on its own. I get tied in a knot with a pair of shorts and a bathing suit. It just really has a really um, great use. So when you have the basics, you can go into your closet and you can get ready right away in a snap. The first summer must have basic is the Birkenstock or the dad sandal. So I say that because the dad sandal came down the runway in 2000, spring, summer, I think 2019. It's now arriving to the general public. Prior to that, actually, the flip flops were around, much to my personal dismay, in 2018. But we've moved on past that. It's kind of the chunkier, heavier sandal. I have a pair of white vegan Birkenstocks that I bought before I went to Greece. I wear them all the time. They're really trendy right now. I can wear them with dresses. I can wear them with shorts. I can wear them with a bathing suit. I can wear them with white leg jeans. I love the white ones for summer because they're light. Um, there's a lot of really cool ones with, out there right now. You can get the Prada ones. You can get brand name kind of Tiva style sandals, those big Velcro ones. I saw a really cool pair of Chanel ones on Sincerely Jewels. Anyway, a heavy pair of sandals, they're great. They're definitely a summer must have. You can spend as much as you want or as little as you want. I'll leave some links to some good ones down below. Since we are talking about shoes, I'm gonna add in there another one of the summer's must haves, New Balance runners. I think because we're still on the dad runner kick, you see the New Balance are everywhere. You see them in bright colors, you see them in muted colors. I saw them a lot during COVID. Everyone had them on with their sweatpants at home. It's a really great shoe. They're funky, they're making a statement, plus they're comfortable to wear. You can wear them with your summer dresses and sweat shorts and wide leg jeans. So get out there, get yourself a pair. They don't cost a lot. And if you're looking to invest a little bit in something that's gonna last for a couple years, I think they're here to stay for a little bit. The next basic is something that I am currently wearing. It is a classic ribbed muscle tee. So this is a trend right now, I think because the 90s are in. I mean, a ribbed white tank is always in. This one I have knotted because it's actually quite long. My pants are very high rise, so I didn't want to tuck it in partially because my pants are like a little too tight. That's a good trick. If your pants are a little too tight, you just tie a knot. Anyway, it's a basic. And this one I got from Bobby, which is made out of uh, Los Angeles, 100% cotton. I love that they're made in North America. And I'll leave a link to this one below. I like it because the straps are wide enough to cover a bra, but they're also still thin. The length is a little bit longer and, it, and it's actually, you guys can't tell this, but it's really stretchy. It's thick enough that it's not totally see-through. Like there's some Hanes ones, they're completely see-through, which is okay if that's your thing and you wanna throw in a black bra. Anyway, the ribbed tank or the ribbed muscle tee, totally a trend. Here right now, get a basic this summer. The next thing, I'm kinda, it kinda goes along with the white muscle tee and that is a gold hoop. I literally have talked about this in my last five videos, because it's a trend right now and it is a summer basic and I think it goes with the muscle tee. It's kind of like that J-Lo vibe that's happening. It's 90s. So anyway, I'm not gonna go into it too much because you guys have heard me a million times. A great gold hoop. As I keep going with the gold jewelry, chain link jewelry is really trendy right now. So 
a bit of a bigger, uh, thicker chain around the neck. If you're gonna wear a thicker chain, make sure that your shirt kind of comes up higher. If you're gonna wear a deep V, you want something that hangs a little bit longer. I'm gonna grab one more chain link that you would like to see. I'll leave a link to this one down below. This one is a gold plated um, design. It is made in North America. I really like it. It kind of has that chain link slash paper clip effect. This is trendy. It's a great classic piece to have spring, summer 2020. Another one of the biggest trends, which I'm actually really grateful for, is the flare jeans, the bootleg jeans, the straight leg jeans, and the wide leg jeans, both crop and long, I'm loving them. I think they're just really comfortable to wear. I think I really also am embracing the change from the skinny jeans. I feel like we've had them for so long that I'm done with them. These ones I actually got, if you can imagine, probably five years ago. Before they were really trending, I had gone to New York Fashion Week and I had seen a couple bloggers with these ones on. These are old, so you're gonna ask me where to get them. They're Citizens of Humanity and they're about five years old. But just in general, wide leg, there is tons of washes out there. There's tons of fits, crops, um, anything that works for your body type. If you have a wider body type at the top, a bigger chest, um, if you have bigger shoulders, wide leg jeans are great for you because they're gonna provide balance on the bottom. So we saw so much of this on everyone while we were all at home, the matching sweat outfit. Okay, so this also includes the super cute sweat shorts, which I actually have a pair of gray and white tie-dye, and they have a matching sweatshirt to them. I love that look, matching sweatpants with the matching sweatshirt. It is very summer 2020, and I'm gonna highly recommend you invest in a pair. If you get a basic color, beige, white, gray, black, navy. For summer, you want like lighter colors. Um, I actually have a gray tie-dye pair. I have a plain gray pair. Something like that is a great summer basic that you should invest in. You can throw that on in the morning and if it's cooler at night and you still look great, very much on trend. I can't really talk about summer basic must-haves unless I talk about tie-dye. It is so massive right now as I am filming this video heading into the summer of 2020, that it just, I have to suggest it as a basic, like I have to include it in a must have, but I'm going to include it as in a muted way. So get a tie dye, like I have a, actually a gray and white tie dye L space bikini. Um, that is on my Instagram, you can check that out. It's probably my favorite. I have a pair of gray and white tie dyed shorts by Bobby, they're like sweat shorts. Um, so anything, tied I like that it could be super small it could be a small amount so like that a bikini top with maybe just white bottoms or the shorts and you pair them with like a white muscle tee it's like a splash of trend and then you keep the rest classic but I'm gonna say find a tie-dye that speaks to you and add it to your summer basics a pair of loose or wide leg linen shorts or longer shorts. A lot of people are really hesitant to wear shorts in the summer, but this summer, the Bermuda short is trending. And so a lot of those like really long shorts, they're like pleated, almost like dad shorts. Like I wanna say like Tommy Hilfiger of like the 1990s or Tommy Bahama. So that style short, get a khaki pair, a white pair, a navy pair. Get a hot pink pair, a yellow pair, there's so many different kinds. You can get a loose linen, I love that look, or you can get a longer, like more structured cotton, whatever it is for you, but I'm suggesting a pair of longer loose shorts for summer is a summer basic must have. I'm sort of tied on the last two. I have to mention white runners because they really are a basic, they are a summer basic, and if I do a summer basic video without mentioning white runners, I'm gonna not totally feel right about it. So white runners are out there, there's so many different types. You can get a white pair of Converse if that's your style. You can get a pair of Alexander McQueen, those are trending. Golden Goose, also another luxury brand, also trending. But you can get anything, like you can get any basic white runner that really speaks to you. And again, like don't be afraid to go check out like the thrift stores, you can always clean the shoes. You can check out online, there's lots of sales to be had. I always feel like a white runner is a, um, an investment piece. You can put a little extra money into it because they really are gonna stick around for quite a while and they have already been for, around for quite a while. So they're definitely a summer basic must have. I also wanted to include the wrap sandal because the wrap sandal has been around a long time. I've had a bunch, I've worn them out because I love to wear them, especially with longer dresses or cropped pants. Um, I love a nude pair of wrap sandal. I do think they're a summer basic must have. You can wear them with a pair 
of white linen shorts. You can wear them with a pair of jeans and the white linen top, a tank top. There are just so many uh, ways to wear them. I will leave a link to a whole bunch down there that I absolutely love. And um, I definitely think you should include them in your wardrobe. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Making a basics video is probably one of my favorite things to do because I can always come up with new basics for each season and each year. Um, and I do think that the most important thing that you have in your wardrobe and remember to invest in the basics and when you find one that you love, buy a few. If you find a white tank top that you love and you fit it, go online and buy a couple. They will definitely be worth your while. Anyway, I love you guys and I will see you on the next video. Oh,